They? And they, they look like bottle diggers holes to me. Oh, look, 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 look. Mm, next question is, is he whole? It's always the big question. I've got a find, I've got, got a find. find. Look. Hi everyone. Hello. We are out on a gorgeous, gorgeous evening. And the sun is shining. The bluebells are blossoming. The garlic, if this was smelly vision, the garlic is stinking. Wild garlic everywhere and it's glorious. And we're going to take you for a little wander along the river. and it goes all the way down to the river there's the water there are my wellies so come on pop your wellies on we're going in oh that's cold ah there's a little piece of wall there i don't think it's anything exciting i think it's one of those modern blocks Green blocks, I think they call them. That's a little bit snapped off. Let's give it a push. Yep, that's a bit of a modern screen block. Oh, there's an alien in the water. Look at that. If you have a nervous disposition, look away now. Oh. And look at that for a view. Wow. It makes me happy to be on the river. Where are you going? Going over there. Really? But I forgot my stick. Right. <laughs> oh, this could get messy. Bill is now going to cross the water without the aid of a stick. You have to be careful because these rocks are very slimy. He's not looking very confident, is he? Can you run? Go on, faster. Now, nobody's to laugh if he falls in. I can hear you sniggering. Behave yourself. <laughs> I think he's going to make it. I'm not going over. I think he's far too slippery. So he's heading over there. If I show you sort of there, it's a beach and he thinks there are some good bricks over there. I don't think it's worth it. What have you found now? <laughs> is it a stone? Oh wow, it's a stone! Excellent! It looks really pretty and green and shiny. I thought it was China. So it's not worth getting your hand wet for then. Oh. <laughs> there goes Phil along the banking across the river. Hello! Have you found anything? Oh, Phil's found something. He's nodding. Is it really good? Treasure. Ooh, Phil's got some treasure. Keep looking, keep looking. I found something down here. But I'm talking, there's this big long thing here, which I'm assuming is just like a piece of rod, metal rod. I thought we'd pick it up together and see what it is. It may not come up, it may be fixed. Oh no, it's coming up quite easy. Let's have a look. Put it over here. Ooh, a big long piece of metal. And also there's this. Now, that doesn't look at all like it should be in a river. It doesn't look at all natural. So let's see what it is. Circular. And, oh, is that made some as well? Oh. It's, oh, it's definitely metal. I can't see what sort of metal it is. It's, it's probably rusty. Mm, but I don't think it's copper. I don't think there's enough. Well, it could be a bit of copper in it. It's perhaps a little green. 
put it in the sunshine so if you can see and then this is iron that's been around the outside of it so mm, what is that do you think it's some sort of element that sort of thing it's not individual circles it's like long coils so it's not for hanging anything on what could that be could it be an ancient necklace from some civilization from a thousand years ago or do you think it's something industrial <laughs> Uh, the bottom of a washing machine, perhaps something like that. Tumble dryer. That's what I'm going for. But if you want to pretend that it's the necklace from some Roman emperor who came to visit back in the day, feel free. And here comes Phil. Have a look at your goodies. I hope you haven't found the first pipe bowl of the trip. Or pipes then. Uh oh. Oh, you found the first bit of pipes then. So not fair. I'm going to sell all day now. Uh, what else have you found? I found just little bits that suggest mm. there's stuff around. Yeah. Oh, there. that's lovely. You can see Some the lift there lift. for pouring. Yeah. Yes. Not the whole thing. Oh, some brown or glass. amber glass. Have a look. Oh yes, look at that. Some nice worn bits of tile. Yeah. I like that side. Yeah, that's the back. It looks like they were tires and they've roughed up the back to get them to stick to the yeah. wall. And it just looked nice mm, when they worn really the water. Oh, I like that. Very 1950s type pattern. A mug, I'd say. Yeah. Very nice. First find of the trip. Well worth wading through the waterfall as we walk along here it's gorgeous being in the nature it's having the sounds of the birds and the gorgeous trees and the flowers and everything else but of course i also love the stuff that shouldn't be here the stuff that we have put here over the centuries as we've developed this place and if i just show you just across the river there look at that Looks like it was, I, I'm going to take a guess, there were sluice gates or something there. Can you see the channeling going down in those stones? Just over on the other side, just over there. And then as we look all the way down, and you can see that the construction there of the bridge, where the canal would have come over the top, and the river run underneath. And some of you may recognise that bridge down there. Today, the water levels are far too high. But, on a previous occasion, I got inside under that bridge. We're going to be heading up there because there aren't many things to find at this level. But, I just thought I'd show you this. Look what I found. It's a little piece of ridge pottery. What is a mudlock without ridge pottery? Ooh. And there are other little bits and pieces as well. If I look down here, you can see little tiny bits of china, lots of bits of china in there. It's, well, that looks like somebody's coat. <laughs> well, there's not a body in it. And a bit of brick. And everything's so small. It's not really. There's a little bit of white there. Let's see what that is. Yeah, it's just a little bit of china, a bit of toilet, I think. So there's nothing big to see here. So I think we need to go further on up the river. Oh, actually, looking for metal down there, I think. No, that's not going anywhere. That's going to fixed. So we're going to work our way up and see if we can find anything else. We've been wandering along in search of some things in the river and I just saw something, it caught my eye from the distance, it was a jar. So I walked over and look, I found this absolutely stunning piece of glass. That is amazing. Let's see if we can find some light. Look at that. I don't know if it'll focus close, but that is gorgeous. Look, that make fabulous jewellery. And there's a handle, a lovely little china handle, very stylized, very 20s, isn't it? And let's have a look what else there is along here. There's lots of little bits of china. We've got this bigger piece. Do you reckon that's plain or patterned? Plain. Wander down. Look. 
it's steep as the side of a hill or mountain, whatever you call them. Now in Scotland they tend to call things hills that we would definitely call a mountain. Much steeper. Right, we've got more bits of china here. Lots of white. Right, now I don't have to say plain or pattern there because look at this really pretty pattern. Perfect for afternoon tea, isn't it? Well, it was perfect for afternoon tea, but it isn't anymore. We go further up and this is what caught my eye right across the way from where I was on the path. Oops. It was this old jar and I thought, well, if there's an old jar, there could be more other old things. So that is very nice. I like that. It's a IVF. I can never remember. FAF. That's what they said. FVF. I got there in the end. FVF. And that's off something. Bit of tin. Tin. No idea. I can't see anything on there. Maybe you can read a word or a part of a word. Just in case it's upside down. I'll turn it that way. And let's have a look what else is here. Oh, what's this? Ah, now that's part of an old battery. Is that the rest of it down there? Oh no. It's a bit of a sauce bottle. Oh, look at this bottle. I just love this size bottle. Isn't that cute? It's got something written on it. You won't, I haven't got my glasses, so I'm probably going to read something that isn't even on there. Let's see what we can see on there. Brothers. Ah, oh, something brothers. <laughs> Um, this is our brothers. No, we'll have to check that out when I've got my glasses. Oh, there's something on the other side, is there? Cream. Oh, I really like that little cream bottle. Right, that's coming home. Me. Oh, can you see this bee? Let's see if I can catch him. Whoops, it's a bit too fast for me and on the side of a mountain. He's down there, he's really big and fat. But he's got away. He doesn't want to be on film, so I'm not going to argue. Let's walk up and see if there's anything else. Oh, this is quite fun. I wasn't expecting this. I thought we'd find things in the river, but not up here. What's that? Oh, it's a little piece of... I'm not sure. And what on earth is this? Right, now that does look interesting. I think it's a battery, perhaps. It's solid, absolutely solid. And there's this here. Right, that's interesting. I don't know what that is. Right. Phil has wandered off, so I'll wait till he comes back and see if he knows what that is because we don't want to take it if it's rubbish. So let's go over this way a little bit. And we've got the bottom of the teacup, and what's this? Oh, oh, look, there's another, is that another bee? Or is this one following me around? He's changed his mind. You want to be on camera now? Lovely little glass jar there. I'm going to have to put things down because it's too difficult. I'm trying to hold my grabber, pick things up, and walk up the hill without falling. Right. So where is all this coming from? Oh, I can see a teacup. Is it whole? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. And it's broken. Oh, what a shame. And is there anything else here? Aha, uh -huh, here's my expert. I need you, Phil. Could you come here, please? What is this? you have any idea what that is? Oh, good grief, it's heavy. It's very heavy, isn't it? Solid metal. It seems a shame to leave it in case it's something interesting. It's got uh, a thing on. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know what it is. What is it? It's out of a battery. Oh, it is out of a battery. Do you know oh, why right. I know? Why? Have a look on there. Exide. Oh, right, there we go. So it's yes. a, a part of the cell of a battery. I looked for the clues. Ooh, well done, Sherlock. Have a look what I found. See that lovely handle? Look at the oh, pattern on the top nice. of that. Yeah, it's very nice. Another handle there. Ooh, lots of handles. But um, inspired by all these little bits of china, mm. Mankey's ran off and found himself a big flat area on a tree, and he would like to invite everyone to a game of... Plain or patent? <laughs> yep. Aha, I spotted you. Here he be. Oh, no, Monkey, what are you doing? You've got epaulets. <laughs> Look at those. He, he thought there's so much china, he decided to start wearing it. Oh, very fashionable. Going for the fashion look. So he's got a patent, and he's got a plane. Right. So it's plain or patent, and it's up to you to choose. Right, okay. Oh, dear. Patent. Oh, yes, one to us. Um, plane. Yes, another one for us. 
This one, ooh, plain. Hey. Oh, wonder monkey. This one plain. Oh, oh to all, to all, monkey, to yeah. all. Patterned. Oh, plain, one to you. Is there anything? Is it embossed or? Well, let's have a look. Have a look. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, it's lightly embossed, yes. That gives you a right, pattern then. Go. Oh, if we're going to lose, we're going to do it honestly. Right, um, ooh, patterned. Which this, one? This one? That one, pattern, that one. Oh no, please! Oh, three all, it's down to the last Patterned. piece. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's patterned. Oh, we win. Four to you, three to us, plus our two. Oh yes, you've got a supplementary <laughs> pair of epaulettes. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. You win, but at least this time. We were a close second. Oh, you were. You were admirable. Well, I'm wondering where all this is coming from. So I wandered up the hill and look, there are two pieces of, I always think of them as Cornish ware, but there's an, uh, some people think they're from Devon, so I'm not quite sure, but I've just always called them Cornish ware. So I'm going to keep calling them Cornish ware. Very nice. I think there's an aeroplane. What do you think? That's a piece as well. Let's have a look. Oh yes, it's another piece. Oh, I'd love to find the whole thing. We could send Phil down the shed then, he could build it. Let's have a look. No, I don't think anything else is. What's that? Oops, I don't know, it's flown off down the hill. Right. We'll wander up this last bit and see if we can find anything. Mmm, it's looking interesting over there. Right, okay. I'm a bit out of puff, but I think we'll go and try and see what's over there. I got distracted. I was on my way up <laughs> and then I saw this. So I thought we'd stop and have a look. Look at that. It's one of those ones. It's a bit broken. There's a lovely little ecosystem in there. If you pop that back down there, whatever's going on there can carry on living. And I can see the bottom of the jar there. And, whoa, whoa Phil spotted what I spotted. Like Show that. us then. Go on, what have you got? chunk in it. Look at that. Oh, does that go with it? I would say so. Wow, that is a big chunk. Hmm, up the other way. Yeah, try that on the other side. Turn it up the other way. <laughs> no, it still doesn't fit. Hmm, it's right. It's definitely off it, but possibly around the back. Yes. But it's the same thing, see? Definitely yep. the same thing. Definitely. Cool, that'd have been a chunk, it wouldn't it? It would, and I can't see anything else. It looks like it, or even vaguely like it along here. It's interesting. I mean, it's not of huge value. It's not really of any value, is it? But it's the top of a bottle with a bit of cork in. I always like finding those. Oh, is that a bit of pipe stem? Oh, 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 I think it is. <gasps> it's a bit of pipe stem. No, I'm not first pipe stem of the day, but I found some pipe stem. That's my first pipe stem of the trip for me. Oh, I'm excited. That means there are more around. Right, let's keep our eyes extra specially peeled. Oh, is that a big bottle, Phil? Right by your feet. Oh, that's a nice one. Bit of a one. dip in there, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so if you look, there's the top. And there's the bottom. And if we hold it up to the light, it's green. Nothing written on it. But very pretty. Very dirty. What have you found? Not a big bottle. I think I've got a small bottle. Right. See ya. It's always much more difficult to pick things up from below you than above you on a hill. What have you found? Oh yes! That's very cute. That's a neat little one, isn't it? It is. Oh, I like that. Let's see if there's anything on the bottom that I can see with my eyes. Oh, 22, I think it says. A little flask shaped one. And no, it's not the cork, I don't think. I think it's just a little bit of there. soil, yeah. An oh. Another thing I've seen, mm -hmm. which I'll try to get down to a moment and explore to you. Right, oh dear. I think this is amazing. Ah, amazing? This piece of dead wood. Oh no. It's filling his imagination again. Look at that. It looks almost like a ram's head from one angle. What is it? Just Shit, a man. big lump, is it? Yeah, there's a piece of it here. Oh, that is really gnarled and old. Look at the eye there. Mmm. Looks like some sort of weird, I don't know, octopus type thing? Squid? Yeah. But see, I just spotted it up there and... It's huge, isn't it? 
I don't think that's coming home with us. Twists up and over here, look. Mm. And goes down around into the ground and up this side. Not amazing the shape. It is, but rather large. And complete with woodwork. Oh wow. What more could you want? I spy with my little eye something beginning with B D H. There? And there they look like bottle diggers holes to me. Should we go check? We see if we can see anything on the way up. It's always worth looking. Because we've already found quite a lot of things on the first section coming upwards. So let's have a look what we got. Oh! Look, 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 look! It's a glass bottle stopper. Wow! Oh, definitely worth a look. I'm not going to rush this bit. It's a lovely piece of china there. And what else have we got? Lots of little bits of broken things. Oh, that's pretty. Can you see the pattern on that? That's very 1920s. I love that pattern. Oops. Clattery. Very nice. Right. Let's go on more than that wood. I'm out of puff. This is a very steep hill. Ah, we're finding more. You've got this is the sole from inside a hobnailed boot. And we've got a little bit more pretty china here. Oh, this is starting to get quite interesting. Some more pretty china here. Oh, look at this glass. Oh, look at the of the glass. It's another bottle stopper. Wow. What's this? It is some very pale cranberry glass. Let's have a look. You can just about see the pink. Isn't that lovely? Oh, there's so many things to find here. Okay, I'm officially having a lot of fun. I've got a bit of glass as well. Oh, that's nice. Carnival glass, I think. It looks like carnival yeah. glass. Yeah. See, see as they move it, it looks mm. like that. Looks like petrol, doesn't it? It does. Very it looks iridescent. Like spilt on a pool of water. Very nice. Oh, what this? Oh, I like that. Look at that. That's lovely. An old jug. Oh, very nice. Oh, yes. This is fun. Now this. Oh, a bottom bit of a bottle. Yes, but what's interesting is I've oh. never seen one that size with teaspoons. Hmm. Yes, yeah, they're usually much bigger than yeah. teaspoon and tablespoon bottles. You won't get many mm. teaspoons in there, but you've got your little measurements and you've got right. teaspoons written on it. Very nice. And you oh. always, <laughs> you, what's a trip to these parts of the world if you don't find a Fletcher's? There we go, Fletcher's sauce. I've left my gloves at home. I'm going to pop into the charity shop tomorrow morning when they open and see if there's anybody with some nice leather gloves. All the modern ones have got like a lining in them, which is no good because I like to get them in the water. And then they get very, very drippy. Right. Oh, it's exhausting walking up the side of a mountain into a bottle digger's hole, you know. Sorry you couldn't hear me puffing. I sound really worn out. I am. <laughs> this is really steep. I don't think it shows you how steep it is on the camera. But it's very steep. And Phil is all the way up there. Hello, Phil. Very steep. Okay, everyone. Can you help me? Oh, we can try. I have found something and part of the wording's missing, so oh. I don't know what it is. Does anyone know what that may have said? Oh, right. Perhaps you'll recognise it off, what, off a find you've had that was whole. I'm just wondering what it is. Well, that would have been lovely if it was a whole thing. Now, this is just mm -hmm. a little piece of tile, but I know exactly what's on this. What's on that? Oh, I like that. Look at that. Very nice. I do like my bits of tile. You do. Right, let's go check over here. And on the way, I wanted to show you these forget-me-nots. They're so pretty. So invasive. If you get them in your garden and you don't want them, I had them in one garden we had, and I couldn't get rid of the things. They particularly like my garden, I think. They're all over here. Let's have a look what's in the soil. Oh, I can see something there. Looks like a bottle to me. What does it look like to you? Next question is, is it whole? It's always the big question. Right, let's take our time and savour this. I can feel the hole in the top, so the neck is whole. So that's the start. Give it a wiggle. I'm going for amber glass there, I'm not sure. Oh, it's whole. I think it's whole. Yes, it is. And just clear the muck off it. There's nothing written on it. So look, nothing on the bottom, but it's whole. And let's have a look at the colour. Oh, yes. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, that's coming home with me. Oh, what's that there? I don't really want to touch it in case it's something not very nice. <laughs> you never know. 
That was a bit of shell. I always like to be a little bit cautious when I haven't got my gloves on. Oh, we've got a little jar there. That's already getting a little ecosystem to the little plants. We'll pop that back down. Oh, is that glass? Oh, what a pretty piece of glass. Blue. Very nice. And then let's have a little look over here. Oh, it's getting really... That is like almost vertical up there. Oh, I can see a lovely bottle, though. Oh, no. I don't think I can resist trying to get up, and it's looking rather precarious. Right Got the camera, but if you hear a loud scream and you see the sky, <laughs> it's falling. Whoa! This is... If I show you underfoot, it's just like a wall. But I can see something up there. Oh, I bet it's plastic. <laughs> uh, let's see what we can do. I pull this branch. No, that's stuck in. Oh! Uh, I don't know, I think I've got it, I've got it! Let's have a look. Oh, it's got a hole in it, but it's not plastic, it's glass. And look at the shape on that! Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. Oops, sorry for all the shaking. Whoa, my feet are sinking. I'm going to have to go back down. Oh, look! What a lovely jug. Well, lovely bit of a jug. Right, I'm going back down because I can feel the ground going from under my feet. And I don't want to fall and break my neck. So... Oh, I'm going to get back down, and then we'll turn the camera back on. Ooh, what's this? It's disappeared a second, I'm trying to open it up. Oh, I wondered if maybe it was a plaque with some writing on. It's metal. I, le I, I do like that. I'm not sure what I would do with it, but I really like it, so I'm going to keep that. And look at this, you've got the dump, you've got all these broken, nasty old things. And the bluebells are flowering their hearts out. Isn't that lovely? Hello, little lady. <laughs> oh, look, there's a big Hello. tall barn up there. Where are you going? I think I can see you. There you are. Hello. Hello. I've come this far and I'm starting to see bigger pieces. So I thought we'll have a look. And what did cast my eye was this. I think it's a tablespoon's bottle. Let's have a look. Let's see if you can see. Yep, tablespoons bottle, this hole. I'm going to pop that there because somebody else may like to pick that up because we do have a few of those. And let's have a look what else we can see. Lots of broken bits of bottle. Okay, there's a bit of new stone. There's a bit of egg cup. You always find lots of egg cups in Yorkshire. The Yorkshire people must love the eggs. And another... Oh! Hold up there. Did you start with perhaps a dog bone? Whoa! Oh, it's been falling. That was perhaps a dog's ball. Oh, what a like, look at that. That's lovely. Now, I don't know if it was a dog's ball, but it looks like one to me. Very nice. Oh, I'm going to try to take that with me. If I keep falling and I need my hand, I'll have to let it go. But I think I'm going to try and take that with me. I'll leave it there and I'll put my little bit of bendy metal there. Make a nice little pile. Let's see what else we can see. Oops. Uh, just of something there. Oh, is that another bottle stopper? Let's have a look. I think it is. Yes! Look, it's another glass bottle stopper. This, I think that's bottle stopper number three. Oh, pop that on our pile. There. And, oh. Uh, I think that's possibly the bottom of... Oh, it could be a counter, actually. I think that's a ceramic counter. Oh, a draft, a draftsman. Right, I'm popping that on my pile. Oops, don't go falling down the hill. Stay there, that's my pile. I'm trying to remember where that pile is, everyone. And uh, my grabber back up before I forget where that is. And uh, should we go down? Or should we go up? Oh, I don't know. Um, what do you think? I'm tempted to go down. Oh, I'm going down. There's a lot more of interest than I can see down. I want to be careful because there is so much smashed glass here. Oh dear. What's that? Oh, I don't really want to bend over to pick it up. Not at that angle. Oh, I think it's... Let's check. Oh, that's... It's a bottle stopper. A very big ceramic bottle stopper. Right, now can I get that to land by my pile? Let's give it a go. Well, <laughs> near enough. Right. Instead of onwards and upwards, it's downwards and um, downwards. Oh, 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 there, I want to see this carpet. This is the fun of it. Look at that. I remember we had a carpet, something similar to that, 
in the 70s. Look at those colours, wow. And you can't see it now, but yes, all our carpets are foam backed. Nasty stuff, and when you picked up the carpets, the foam was all stuck to the floor. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, no, look! It's a squashed swan, whoops. Let's see what we can do with this. I don't think we can do much. Oh, poor thing. Look at this neck. No head on it. It's a squash plastic swan. And um, we've got a bit more of a battery there. And we've got a coat brick. <laughs> Look at that, it's a coat brick. Coat bricks obviously made half bricks. And stamped them with the word coat. That's my reasoning behind it. What's yours? Do you think maybe it says something else? <coughs> Oops, Phil's got the sneezes. Have indeed. He's been sneezing all day today. Oh, I like that. I like that. You know Phil and his plinths. Look at that. Whoops. Oh, fall it over. Don't fall, don't fall, it's the excitement of finding the plinth. Look at that. That's really oh, nice, isn't it? Very nice. I think you'll be able to find something to do with that. Would you like to see my finds? Oh, wow. You've got a ridge pottery jar and a bit of a bottle. Ah. I, I, I can see a handful of other bits. I'll show you now. Right, let's come closer and we'll see what you got. I was just showing Phil what I wanted him to put in the bag and I realised this was there and I put it down. I'll have to check the film, but I seem to put it down on top of the other half a dog bowl. How was that for a coincidence? So, put all these here, but I've lost. Do you remember I threw that big black circular thing? Oh, that bottle stopper. That one? Oh, that's it, you found it. Yep. You got so that's there, and a metal bit, and the plinth, so there we go. What was that little white disc? Is oh, that yeah, yours? so I think that's a draftsman. Put that there, and I'll put myself sit so there, and then we'll film what you've got. Right, Mr. Johnson, okay. what have you got? I will start with what you described as a ridged pot. Right. This is not just any ridge pot. Oh, right. What's this is a whole, yes. uncracked ridge Ooh. pot that bears Ooh. Hartley on the bottom, so it's genuine. Oh, genuine one. Oh, right. Oh. So uh, that is a neat find. Right. This. Oh, I like that. Is a busted mug. Yep, we've got the But little... it's the most Yorkshire thing we're going to find. Oh, yes. The out for nout one. The out for nout. Remember? Graham shared the out for now rhyme with us. Yep. See all, hear all, say no. Eat all, sup all, pay no. <laughs> if you ever want out for now, I'll just do it for yourself. Oh, I like that. Very good. <laughs> We're a train going across the track there. And this is written on the mug. I don't know how much of it is there. I'll clean it up in the river and have a look. I'll tell you what, join us for our live show Saturday night, 9pm. And you'll be able to see how much of the poem we can find. What else have you got, Mr. Johnson? A bottle. Oh, it's a cute little bottle. Nothing That's on it, but it's cute. Yeah, but it's very nice. neat and perfectly formed. It is. And we often comment back home about how there wasn't a lot of money around, so a lot of the china is plain. Well, there was a few bob in these parts, I think, because look oh, at those. Oh, look at those. You've got this one with the gold luster on, uh, no, gilding. And look at that one. Oh, I like that. That's my favourite. Isn't that beautiful? A dandelion, perhaps, or... Something like that could be marigold. It's very pretty. Can you see the little figure on there as well? There's a little cherub reading a book. And then mm -hmm. you mentioned my broken bottle. Yes. It's sad it's broken because it would have had mm -hmm. a nice embossing on it. But if I give it a twist, oh, then out of the lot. top, stopper. And as I came down, two stoppers. Well done. One says Halifax, the other says extra large XL. Ooh, very there nice. we go. Not bad. Well, I'm sure you can tell we've climbed a long way, but there's further to go. There's more to find, but the light is failing. We've come out this evening straight after our arrival. But folks, we will be back. We will find whatever else is here for you. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed discovering this place. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. Doing, doing, doing. And Please, share it with all your friends. The more, the merrier when we're out and about. But most importantly, this time, just like every time, until the next time, have fun. Bye. Bye.